Okay, once you have copy and pasted and moved around all your other pieces into the geometric shapes that you exported from Illustrator, your design is going to take on this cool collage effect um, with p random pieces all, right, all around. <clears throat> once you do that, you need to zoom in and you can use the move tool to snap these into place. So you can just single click the layer and nudge as you need to. So you're gonna work your way around your design and nudge and close up any gaps. So you want these shapes to be right up against the white lines that you exported from Illustrator. So just use your arrow keys on your keyboard to do the nudging and slowly move around your screen. Um, to move around your screen like this, you can tap the spacebar key, which gives you this little hand, and you can click and drag your screen around. Uh, you can also slide with your finger on your mouse to move things or to move your screen around and then nudge your arrow keys to close up any gaps. So just continue to work around your piece like I'm doing right now. Just keep moving around to close up any of those gaps. Once you have all the gaps closed, we are going to move on to the next step, which is adding the dust and scratch textures um, and the photocopy texture, which gives it this really cool textured effect. Um, so go ahead, once you're done closing all these gaps up, you can move on to the next part of your project.